Okay, how's everybody doing today? Uh, I am out in the garage. I can stand up now without my cane. Um, it is still quite a bit of pain, so I, I'm not going to be out here too long. Um, but, and if I bend over, I got to support myself with my hand. But I'll show you what I'm up to on the coop. So I'm trying to find the uh, vacuum leaks. So kind of dark in here. I already, these little boots, these used to be this kind of dry rotted rubber. Um, and I'm pretty sure I just bought new boots like a couple years ago. So they dry rot and crack pretty fast. And then you get vacuum leaks on your carbs. Uh, so I got these vinyl ones. Uh, they have rubber ones at the store, but the vinyl ones are the same price and they're just different colors. Um, they come in a little you know they look like this and they only give you so many of uh like they give you enough to do two carburetors and then maybe something else and i got two carbs so i need them all so the first one uh the front ones i can get to no problem the ones on the back carb they were all split as well but they're way they're way down in here and this carb is up against it i was able to get this boot off and this one on the other end here but um uh, at, when I was trying to put the new boot on here, it dropped between them, and that's that's like a long way down there. So I had to get I had to get like a eight inch screwdriver, and I'm trying to get it out. It's just moving around down there because I need all four of them. I need two. There's only four blue ones. Um, so I got I'm like, what can I do? I need something sticky. So I found this tape. You know the uh, the post office tape that was on this bubble wrap here. I stuck it to the end of a screwdriver. Stuck it down there and I got it. Uh, so sometimes you gotta do a little, little, whatever. I don't know what. So uh, I get the phone to focus here. Um, so the middle one, the middle one, I cannot get to. That's the big one, and it's right up against the uh, front carb. So that means I had to take the fuel line off. And it's like, you know, finding the wrench, like what size is that? It's, it takes, <laughs> it takes forever. It's pretty stupid. There's this linkage here, but uh, the bolts holding the carb down were half inch or the nuts down here. So I got all four of those off and I'm gonna try to take the carb off. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have to undo this linkage or not. I might, but I just need to get it up and out of the way enough to get that boot off and then they went on and then I can just bolt it right back down. And then hopefully vacuum leak's gone. The other the other leak was coming from this uh, fitting over here, which we tightened up. Okay, uh, the car popped off pretty easily. I just just slid it over a little bit so I could get my fingers in there, and I didn't have to undo the linkage over here. So I'm just gonna try to stick this on. I got the old boot off, which was split all the way around. Uh, let's see if I can get that in there. No, my camera's not focusing, but I gotta. There, nice. There they are, new boots. Who's excited? I gotta bolt it back up. Being really careful not to drop anything down these holes because that's a bad situation. There was four washers on here. I had to pull those off so I didn't drop them in the hole. You know, because that'll ruin your motor. So let's get this car back on. Ooh. Okay. Oh. All right, carbs. Carbs back on. Put the washers on. Being very careful not to drop them in these holes, and uh, tighten it up, and then reattach that fuel line. All right, got it all buckled back up. Uh, put the air cleaners back on, and we're on to the next problem. Uh, next problem is that fuel pump there. Like I said, uh, it's leaking. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, I also have to mail in the uh, the bad distributor to MSD because this distributor is not mine. It's got to go back uh, to the guy I borrowed it from. Um, and. Oh, there are some various drips around the car. This is coming from under the oil filter, 
Uh, it feels snug to me. I mean, it's it's more than hand tight. I can't turn it anymore. But for some reason, it's leaking, so i got to figure that out, too. So, anyway, I'll keep plugging away. Okay, got it all buttoned up here. Uh, the new uh, vacuum caps are all on. The air cleaners are back on. It runs. Um, it doesn't just stall out when I start it, so that's good. So our hypothesis uh, was probably correct. Uh, one thing that's a little strange is I turn the ignition key off and the engine keeps running. Um, dieseling, as they say. Uh, so that's a new one i got to figure out because I don't know how to shut the thing off. Uh, <laughs> But uh, I also found a switch inside which runs the electric fan. So now I know what that switch does. Um, so I can make sure it doesn't overheat if I'm idling sitting somewhere. Anyway, we will be back for more excitement, a little bit at a time. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.